Well, hello, hello, friends. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to run through a quick ah, we're going to run through a quick coding exercise to where we build uh, a deck of cards and then we shuffle it and deal a hand uh, from that deck. So we're going to need a, a card class and a deck class. And the reason I'm doing this, I had a friend of mine who recently went through a uh, coding interview for a little bit more of a senior kind of like back end position. Uh, they wanted to know if he knew how to do like object oriented programming, things like that. So the way that they did his technical interview was they just asked him to, in whatever language that he wanted to, you know, build a deck of cards, create a shuffle functionality of it, and then uh, deal a couple cards uh, off the top or off the bottom, either one. And uh, he froze up a little bit uh, because it was kind of like a, a on the spot, kind of a white, not a whiteboarding challenge, but he wasn't really. They kind of frowned on looking up a bunch of stuff on the online, so references. So um, you just have to kind of like walk your way through the problem as you're doing it. So I'm going to do this, and hopefully it'll helps people out if y'all run into the same thing. So the card class, we're going to create a card class first. What is a card? It has suits and values. So let's go class uh, card, and uh, in there we'll do a constructor. And uh, uh, in that constructor, it will take a, what does a card have? It has suits and values. So we'll just say suit and value for each card. This dot suit equals suit. This dot value equals value, right? Cool, cool. So just to make sure that it works, because we're not using a testing framework, uh, let's just go car, uh, let card equal new card with uh, suit is going to be uh, hearts eight and let's make sure that it creates that nope because missing some syntactical stuff okay create new card hearts eight don't have a comma and we need a console log that card anyways I actually did this like a year ago. I made a, uh, and we can create a card class, or a card object from the card class, so we're doing good. About a year ago, I made a long video in YouTube, uh, in Ruby for YouTube of, uh, I built out a whole blackjack game, so if you're still a little bit worried about object-oriented programming, that's actually a lot more in-depth video than this is. I'd urge you to check it out. It's under a, I think it's like Ruby and black, uh, blackjack and Ruby playlist, but, uh, I did like TDD and stuff. That was like a year ago. That's actually one of the longest video tutorials I've made. It took me like pretty much all day. It was like 10 videos long. So it was like maybe like an hour, hour and a half of programming. But I digress. I'm a quick plugin. All right. So we can create a card. So now we need to do a deck. Uh, class deck. And why do I keep doing that? Um, constructor. Constructor. We're not going to pass anything into it. We'll just go this dot deck is equal to an empty array. An array seems like a pretty good data structure to just hold, you know, a, several card card objects. So um, first thing we need to do is we need to be able to create a deck. Create, C-R-E-A-T-E, -E, deck. So create a deck. And uh, when we're creating a deck, the thing that we're, this is probably the most confusing part about this is you're going to have to have nested for loops here to do this. So um, I will, I'll walk you through it and then I'll explain what I'm doing. So it's going to take suits values uh, when we're creating the deck. And then we'll go for let suit ooh, of suits and then let uh, for let value of values. So once we have the suits and the values, we're just going to take um, this dot deck dot push. What are we going to push into that deck? We're going to push into that deck um, a new card object. So we'll go new card with suit and value that we're iterating through. And then we'll return this dot deck. Now let's make sure that that works real quick. Let's create a deck object down here. And, do, 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 do. 
Uh, so let's go let deck equal new deck. And uh, we'll pass in the suits and values. We get those from up here. I had them already pre-written out because I don't want to write them on camera. Put them down here. Uh, and then we'll console log the deck. Let's see. Boom, it's an empty array. Why is it an empty array? Ah, da, 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 because we didn't call the create deck method. So we did make a deck object, but we didn't call the create method on it. Deck.create um, I'm actually surprised that that worked because we were passing in suits and values here, which we shouldn't have done. Create deck suits values. Let's see if it works. Okay, cool. So now we've got a deck, and if you want to double check and make sure that your math is right, you just go to deck.length right here. And just copy out the length, uh, return this.deck.length for the create deck. So we need a console log, this.deck. Actually, let's just take this. That should work. Okay, yeah, so it is 52 cards. So I was just checking the length right here. I was just returning the length and console logging it out. So, okay, cool. So we've got a deck um, that's working. What do we need to do? We need to be able to shuffle the deck. So we'll make a shuffle method at some point, and we need to be able to deal off the deck. So we'll make a deal method. So let's do it like this. Let's do the deal method first because it's a little bit easier. So let's go let hand equal another empty array. And then we'll go while hand.length is less than two. What do we want to do? While hand.length is less than, yeah, okay, cool, that's good. We want to go this dot deck dot pop. And with that pop, we want to go hand up, push uh, all this. And then right here, we'll return uh, hand. And then down here, we can console log. We don't need to console log this any longer. We just wanted to create a deck. And then we need to console log deck.deal. See what we get. We get two cards back, the king and the ace of spades, because those are the last two cards. If you look right here, those are the last two cards right here. But this is ordered, so we still need to shuffle it. So our deal is working fine, so let's work on our shuffle. Unfortunately, JavaScript doesn't have a built-in shuffle method, unlike uh, like Ruby, which I did this in last year. So you'll have to kind of hack, ha not hack, but you have to come with an algorithm to shuffle the array. There are a few out there that are kind of tried and true, um, but if you're looking for efficiency, this is probably one of the better ways to go about it. So I'll just start out with a variable called counter. So we'll let counter equal this dot deck dot link. And then we'll have a temp variable and an i variable. Then we'll go while counter. So while counter is still counting, we'll go i equals math.floor uh, math.random times, uh, what is it, times counter minus minus. So we're going to count down each time with counter. I'm going to put those there again. So i is going to equal that, and then we just flip the uh, indices. We'll go temp equals this dot deck at counter. And then it'll be um, this dot deck at counter. And if you don't know about flipping uh, or switching or swapping um, 
elements within an array, this is a pretty classic pattern. You'll have a temp variable. Let's say that I have, ah, uh, shit, I'll just show you. Um, let r equal one and two, right? So I have two elements in this array right here. And let's say that I wanted to flip those two. I wanted to put two here and one here. A way to do that would be let temp equal r at zero. Right, so now temp is equal to one. So then I could go, if temp is equal to one, now I can set r at zero to be equal to r at one. So now r at zero is two. So now this is two and this is two. So you just have to set the two, which is r at one, equal to uh, temp. And now if we do R, you see that we flipped them. So that's a classic pattern of flipping elements in an array, and that's exactly what I'm doing right here. So where were we? Uh, counter dex, uh, this dot I. So now we just need to do uh, this dot deck at I is going to be equal to temp. It's literally the exact same thing I was doing over there. So then we'll just return this dot deck. And I hope I didn't make no spelling errors. Uh, it looks pretty good. So let's console log this dot deck dot shuffle and make sure that it's shuffled up. Let me get out of this. What's the name of that file? Deck.js. So node deck.js. Boom. Okay, so our now our deck is shuffled. It's in you know kind of a pseudo randomized order. So if you have it shuffled, then you can go console log uh, deck dot deal, and we'll, we'll get rid of this console log right here. My brother's down there watching Black Mirror. It's scary. Okay, so here we go. And so we get the Ace of Hearts and the Queen of Diamonds. So with this, what we've done is we've created a hand class. We've created a deck class. We've been able to create a deck within the deck class. We've been able to shuffle the deck, and we've been able to deal cards from the deck. So that's a pretty good bit of object-oriented stuff. If, I, if there were takeaways from this, I would say the nested for loops of creating a deck, that's pretty big. And then this algorithm for shuffling is pretty big. Just take a look at it. And uh, it's got a name, the something Fisher algorithm. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, I would go through that and make sure that you understand how to flip uh, indices within an array and how to create random numbers right here too. So just take a look at it. If you got any questions, put them in the comments. And uh, yeah, take it easy.